Hey, what's going on beautiful jellyfish? It's Tracy. Thanks for hanging out. And today I'm going to be giving you five tips talking about Magic Fest. If it's your first time going to Magic Fest, um, these are kind of some things that I thought would be pretty helpful. I have been to three GPs, basically Grand Prix. I'm probably going to always call them GPs. I'm trying to get into use of calling them Magic Fest because it's like the new thing, but I've been to GP Pittsburgh back in 2015. GP Vegas in 2018 and Magic Fest Austin um, that was just happened in January this past January and they've all been super great and I've learned a lot after going to these different events that I thought would be a helpful video I definitely want to do more of these because there's a lot of stuff to say and I only wanted to talk about five things in this video so let's hop into it the first thing I wanted to say is to bring snacks and I want to tell you why because for a couple of reasons and this might even to be bring snacks with you like if you're traveling like bring snacks with you in your bag because okay when you're going to an event there's like that it's in a different area to you like if you're traveling somewhere which probably you are because most of the time events are like you need an airplane or something together like you might have like an event like I didn't have to really travel for Magic Fest Austin I had to drive like I didn't have to take a plane or anything because I'm in Austin um so it's like if you're traveling somewhere like you're in a space like you don't know like you have to look up like is there a grocery store nearby like can I walk there do I need to take an Uber or a Lyft like you need to look up these things and you might not have a chance to do them but I feel like just bringing snacks will make your day so much easier. Um, yeah, if it works into your schedule where you can like go and like get snacks, like you're there early or anything like that. But like, honestly, it just makes it so much easier to just have things like in your back, like crackers, things that are kind of like really easy that won't like really get crushed or like anything. I feel like I wouldn't bring like a banana. Do you know what I mean? From home, like that's a little, it's the chance of that getting like crushed in half is like a very, very good chance. But you know, easy things like snacks, um, like crackers, like uh, chips, like little things like that. It's not really like sustainably, like you do need food, but that's not like the best food. But honestly, if you're playing in an event, especially the main event, your day is going to be jam packed. And like, if you're going, you're probably going with people, like, most people go with events with, like, other people, so, like, you know, if you're playing in an, the main event or anything like that, you may be like, hey, like, you know, it's round six and I haven't eaten, like, a, a meal, can someone, like, get me something or whatever that you can, like, eat in between rounds, because you might not have enough time, um, I would definitely say that, because eating is, like, so important, it's, like, Mazel's hierarchy of needs, like, you need to have food to sustain you, I don't know, this isn't even, like, related at all to, like, really, truly, like, actually, like, playing in an event, but, like, taking place like for the event this is like super important um and then also to like have a water bottle with you this is my hydro flask because I'm a visco girl or something um that's what the kids call me my fourth graders call me so I don't know but anyways um yeah just staying hydrated and having food super important the second thing I wanted to say is that it is not all about the main event I know it's called the main event and that might deter some people because they're like I'm a standard player the main event is modern why would I go to like a magic fest event but like honestly it doesn't really matter like okay if you are like a standard player for example there's going to be standard side events and like yes if you're going to play and you are like going and you were like oh my goodness I really really want to go play in this event because I want to win or something like that it might be a little bit of a different story but if you're going to like have fun or you're going to like play but you yes you care about the main event like it'd be cool if standard in that case was the main event but like you still want to go and play like definitely still check out the events or if you're someone like me and you do not play competitive magic I don't play modern I don't play standard I don't <laughs> legacy lol I don't play pioneer or anything like that but I play commander they have um the command zone at a lot of things I don't actually know that much about the command zone, but like, I think it, that what they do is they do like, um, I know they have like competitive and casual, which I think is really cool. And you can like get a game of four people together and you can play a game of commander. And I think like they have their own prizes and stuff like that, which is really cool. And I think you get like ticks and stuff, um, like tickets, which like get you prizes, which is really cool from the prize wall, um, which I'm not talking about in this video, but I'll definitely talk about that in the second part. But if you don't want to play commander, like I went to Magic Fest Austin and I didn't play commander. I just played like sealed. Um, and then you could do draft and stuff like that too. And honestly, like, even if you go and you're not like, I'm not like a great drafter by any means. And I'm sealed is like, I don't think it's, it's really hard. I don't, I feel like it's hard to be good at sealed or like bad at sealed. It's just like, it depends on your pool. You know what I mean? So it doesn't really like, it's not a reflection of you as a magic player, you know? But like, even if you're not the greatest, world's greatest drafter, like, I don't think it really matters. Like, it's honestly just like about having fun. I, you can get competitive with it. And yes, it's a more competitive environment, but honestly, like, I don't think you should let that like deter you if you want to go to an event. There's like great side events and stuff like that. So to do. 
Um, cool. The um, third thing is if you are planning on doing draft or sealed, bring sleeves with you. This is like a really small point and like there's not a really whole lot of substance to it, but like truly bring sleeves with you. You do not want to be in a place and like paying for sleeves because like honestly it's just like bring sleeves of your own like have an extra pack of something and then just bring them like and an extra deck box like it's gonna make your life a whole lot easier like promise super simple point but I just wanted to throw that in there the fourth thing is um make sure if you are someone who is even if you are playing in the main event but if you're especially looking for side events look at what events you want to do um this like it holds for so many reasons and like try to register for those events prior. I remember I was trying to like jam events in, I guess this was a little bit different because like I, for Vegas, I was like in the main event and this was back when I was playing modern. I was in the main event and then I was like doing side events was a little bit different. But like if you're going with the intention of playing side events, I'd recommend knowing times and knowing what you want to do. We're going to be going, I'm really excited, to Magic Fest Houston in April. I think it's April 23rd, 24th that weekend. So if you're going, definitely let me know because I will be there and I'm really excited. Um, but um, I'm going to, we're going to plan out kind of like what events we want to do ahead of time just to kind of like get a heads up because there's a lot of things going on in, in events. And so it's really good to know like what, is going on and like okay um what am I in the mood to play like, if you're someone who plays like a variety of formats you might want to be like what am I in the mood to play like and check kind of the different things because if you're if you're you can definitely jam like two events I would say in a day I don't know about three I'm not like 100% sure on that but like like an event will start at maybe like 9 9 30 10 o'clock in the morning and there might be other ones that start at like three in the afternoon so you can definitely jam like both events um there's some that I'm pretty sure start later like at like six or something like that too so you can definitely get in like a variety of events and stuff like that. You can definitely do multiple things. Um, and I definitely would just check that schedule um, and make sure you're checking the right one because there's a lot of times events start on Fridays. So there's like a Friday, Saturday and Sunday. And so it's like there's a lot of stuff and there's a lot of stuff that's jam packed. The fifth and final point that I wanted to make in this video is I think really important and I've like truly considered doing a whole video on this but I'm like I don't know like if it'd be like that helpful because it's not revolutionary by any stretch of the imagination but um basically if you're going into an event buying cards and looking at different vendors was is honestly just one of the best parts of an event in my opinion like I lived it up at Magic Fest Austin I just like had such a great time like shopping and even just like window shopping looking at cards that I'm like that's really pretty I've never seen the card in person before you know what I mean like it was just really cool or really nice to just check out like expedition lands and be like one day you will be mine um but like it's really cool to look at stuff but it can be super overwhelming because there's going to be a lot of vendors now when I went to Magic Fest Austin it was a much smaller convention center I want to say there was like 10 or 12 vendors there so there truly wasn't like a lot like Vegas had like double triple that like Vegas had so many it was so crazy but um basically if you're going what I would recommend doing is having a list of cards you are in search of. And this can, list can look like anything, truly. It can be separated by um, decks. That's the way I organize it. So I have like my Tassigur deck, I have my Leela deck, you know, angels, and then I have like the different cards I want. Or you can organize it by like types, so like artifacts, lands, that sort of stuff. That might be like really helpful. And then maybe you could put like on the side, like, oh, I want this land for this deck. And then like, you know, that's in parentheticals. And it just makes it like a little bit easier, I would say. But whatever way that you want to organize it, I like organizing it by type because that's actually how I fill my halls is like looking at the types and stuff. Um, and that just like makes it a whole lot easier for me. But truly, this has made my life so much easier like I can't even tell you guys if people are ever like hey Tracy like what cards do you want I can just go it's a google doc so I can just share it and it makes it so easy because I'm just like these are the cards I want and then the thing that really really helps me is like a lot of times you know I have at this point nine EDH decks which is wild and I'm always in the process of building stuff so a lot of times I truthfully can't recall if I have a certain card like it's just the reality of my situation I know like a solid amount of like my collection but I'm always kind of like getting new stuff so what I do is I update this list constantly it's something that's always tweaking whenever I get new stuff um whenever I like you know take cards off add new cards like it's just always kind of like this sort of like mm, what's the word like I'm blanking on what it's called but like it's always changing um, and so this has really helped me keep track of cards that I actually need because a lot of times I'll be like 
I'll, there'll be like a card that I have and that I'll need foils in like three decks. But say I have one of them in foils and I need it for two decks. I might not remember one what deck it is, which is important to me knowing which deck it goes in. And two, if I even need it in foil, because I might be like, oh, I have two out of the three foils, but I need the, the third one. You know what I mean? It's, it's really challenging for me to keep track of like repetitive cards that I run in a variety of decks. And this just really helps me. And it was so nice being like, do I have that card? And then literally going on my phone in the event and like Google docking and like just scrolling through and being like, oh, I already had that card. I don't need to get it. Like it just makes your life so much easier. If you're, maybe your wish list is a lot smaller than mine. Mine is like multiple pages and I need a lot of foils. Um, but if your list is smaller, you can totally just like take a piece of paper and then just like keep track of it like on like, you know, just like on a sheet of paper and then just like write down the cards you need or whatever. If you're looking for very like specific cards, I'm still kind of looking for a variety of cards, which makes it truly fun because it's kind of like an, it's like a hunt. Like that's the thing that I really love is like I buy cards online and I'll definitely buy them at my LGS too, of course. But like, it's so fun, like going in and like, just like looking at cards in person and like, oh my God, it's just like, let me put all the foils together and it's just like so aesthetically pleasing. Buying cards at an event is like truly one of like my favorite things to do. So Guys, that is it for this video. I hope this was helpful. I definitely want to do a part two because there's a lot more stuff that I can say. Um, I just kind of wanted to condense this into five things for you. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Like my video if you enjoyed it. Turn on that little bell notification to be notified when I post videos and I will catch you guys in my next one.